like and subscribe if you find this video of value and you wish to share it with others. If you are a subscriber, then like it. And this is supposed to help with the algorithms. Now let's get straight to it. The United States has been an international bully. The United States has used the dollar to bully countries into doing what it wants countries to do. You see, the dollar, as I have explained in other videos, is used as an international currency to buy resources and to resources and services. It is an international monetary current currency, which means that if a country wants to do business with another country, then they change their money into dollar bills to make the purchase. After they make the purchase, the other country has to turn the dollar bills back into the bank so that they can use the money in their country. The IMF or the banks that controls the currency can withhold currencies from other countries by not doing business with them. They will not be able to trade in their dollars to carry on business with other countries. And this is what we call putting sanctions on countries. This is how sanctions work if you've never known. And if you've watched four or five of my videos, I think I've talked about sanctions so many times, but I'm gonna keep talking about it until I make sure everybody understands how sanctions work and how the United States can bully other countries by using the currency to control what they can and cannot do. Also, the international bank, which countries have their money put into, the international banks don't have to give them their money. And if they don't give them their money, it is nothing they can do about it because they are dependent on that bank. So if they have $10 billion in a bank, and they say that they need $1 billion to, for the infrastructure of their country, the bank can say, no, I don't believe you. You might try to use the money for terrorist activities or whatever and not give them the money. And that's what has been going on. BRICS, the Alliance of BRICS, you see, even though Russia is a nuclear power, China is a nuclear power, they can't do business unless they can exchange that currency with other countries. So even though they were a nuclear power, they were still monetarily limited and controlled by the dollar. This is why they're starting BRICS. And it will be official in 2024 and BRICS will control 81% of the world's old gold, I mean oil. And not only that, Russia and China are in Africa and Africa has more resources than any other country in the world. And this is the kicker. Once BRICS start that new currency, then they can put sanctions on America and European countries who are dependent on Africa for resources. And now they have Russia playing big brother. They can use 
Russia and they can use China because they have interest in these countries and they are not going to allow America to mess up the money they have invested in these countries. Russia is giving is giving Africa free grain, free grain to help them out because of the sanctions that have been put on them by the United States and they can't purchase it. They have also wiped out $23 billion worth of debt owed to them by Africa. And China has done the same thing, wiped out debt owed to them by Africa. Don't fool yourself and think Africa does not appreciate this. All Africa is waiting to do is for the United States, is, is for that currency, for that BRICS currency to become internationally exchangeable for goods and services. And then they are going to do what everyone does to the person that has been bullying them around. They are want they are going to want some get back. They are going to want some get back. Now, I don't know what I don't know what Europe is going to do. I don't know what Europe is going to do because the United States is out for themselves. Because France wanted all their gold back from the United States and the United States said no. What's France going to do? Take it? Nope. But I'm listening. See, this is, this is what you all have to understand. <clears throat> you have to follow truth. You have to have a desire for truth. And see, my thing is this. I'm not the smart. I'm not the smartest person in the world, but it, when it comes, but when it comes to common sense, I am second to none when it comes to common sense and recognizing BS from reality. And see, you, everyone here listening to me, learn to truth is intelligence. The use of truth leads to wisdom. Um, uh, train your mind to forget about your desires and to search for truth. Train your mind to forget about desires and search for truth. And then you will live in reality because lies create delusions and insanity. But like I said in a previous video, um, Save food. Get as much food as you can. Uh, Non-perishables. And one other thing. The key I want to say is that the United States has been, forget the word bully, the United States has been an international dictator. The United States has been an international dictator. And they tried to dictate to Africa to accept same-sex marriages. That's a dictator. United States has been a dict a bully and a dictator. And and the reality of the situation is that just like kids grow up, countries grow up. And they get bigger than the dictators and the bullies. And I'm gonna tell you this right now. Russia and China are more technologically advanced than the United States. Much more. Like and subscribe. Talk to you later.